Hi. Um, today I'm going to make some uh, uh, canvas panels for my plein air painting. And I needed some 11 by 14 sizes. So anyway, I've got a stack of boards ready to go. And um, I a lot of times go to Home Depot and get um, masonite panels or uh, some wood panels, about a quarter inch thick. And, uh, you know, if you get it too thin, the board's going to warp. I've had that. And anyway, um, I use a glue that is called Miracle Muck. And it's heat sensitive, so if it lifts at all, then you are able to um, put it back with a blow dryer, just heating it up with the blow dryer and uh, heating the canvas and the glue and press it back and it uh, goes right back. So anyway, I just have an inexpensive brush that I put the glue on. I have a little tub here of a bowl of um, water so I can put my brush in so it doesn't dry out on me if I'm doing a whole bunch of them at one time. And I usually just pour the glue right on the canvas. And I've laid these out here so I know how they fit. And put the board down. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue the other one. And right now it's in Phoenix, the weather's a little bit warm and this glue is a little thinner feeling. So is my paint. It's, it's really buttery. Feels like melted butter. Two of them down here. Now, I've got a um, little rubber mat here underneath this that I can just go with the razor blade, and I'm going to leave about a quarter of an inch of canvas around the edges because with the glue, the canvas is wet, so as it dries, it will shrink. So that way. I'll cut it again when it's completely dry and um, then I'll be able to cut it nice and clean right up to the edge of the board. Okay, then I turn these over and I've got a little roller here that going over the whole thing. Make sure that it's applied really well, both of these. And I lay these one directly on top of the other, so I stack these. And I'll eventually put some weight on them. But if you can make your own canvases, it saves quite a bit of money. And um, then, then I kind of feel, too, that you're not... Uh, if you spend a little less money on it, you're more apt to experiment and try something new. You don't have to worry about having a finished product that's going to be, you know, that's important to you to have nice. Okay. Now I'll roll out a little bit more canvas here. to not get glue on the canvas that you've already thrown out. There's a little more room here, but since I've got the camera set up and taking up part of my counter space, it's a little less. 
and it, once you get going with this, it really, you know, I do several at a time, and it um, doesn't take too long a time to get a bunch done. That it's really important to have a good glue like this Miracle Muck. And um, I've got this listed on my website under resources too, so that you can see where to buy it. Yeah. Make sure and get the glue right up to your edges so you don't have problems with that lifting. with the razor blade again, leaving about a quarter of an inch of space. Oops, got a little close there. Oh, I still got extra room. Um, obviously, the bigger your board is, the more shrinkage you're going to have. So, you know, if you go anything larger, you may want to have more than a quarter of an inch. Make sure that your boards are clean, that you don't have a little bit of sawdust or, you know, wood splinter or thread, something underneath there because it um, telegraphs and shows right through. something under here, a little piece of sawdust. several of them here. I will put one upside down here because I don't want the object that I put on top of it as a weight to uh, mark the canvas or anything. So anyway, just stack these so that there's, you know, they're one on top of the other. And I place my side. I've got a rack here with some wire, spools of wire that's pretty heavy, and that's what I use as my weight, but you know, of course it could be anything. Now, anyway, that's my process here, and I'll show you this, what I've got. Okay, here's my um, stack of canvases. These are 11 by 14s, uh, so I've got several done there, maybe 20 or so. And uh, next, then I've got to cut some 8 by 10s and let's see, some uh, 9 by 12s. 